Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a series of rock pop albums that I've purchased in the past couple of weeks. And do a bit of a shout out to Larry, who's a record collector here in town, who sold me a few of these albums. The first is Girl Watcher by The Occasions. That was a one-hit wonder back around 1970 or so. And I like the cover. It looks like he has his Ray-Bans on. He's looking at the girls in the bikini. This is an ECM jazz album, Steve Elivison, Dawn Dance with Colin Walcott. And I have played this album. It's very nice acoustic music, uh, kind of like Leo Kotke, but with more of a jazz flavor to it, though. Another copy of Magical Mystery Tour. This one's from the 1980s. Yes, Big Generator. This is a Miles Davis album, Miles Davis Live. It has a really nice cover on it. I'm not sure if this is the same artist that did the Santana album. or It's probably the same artist that did the Bitches Brew cover. Have a Marijuana, David Peel on the Lower East Side. I know uh, other people have picked this up recently on YouTube. Funkadelic, Maggot Brain, featuring the great guitar playing of Eddie Hazel. And uh, Eddie Hazel had a bit of a Hendrix fixation, I think. It's one of the nice things about this album is the, uh, the skull on the back. <laughs> Maggot Brain. Plus Eddie Hazel's guitar playing. Is it Chet Atkins and Merle Travis, The Traveling Roadshow? This would be from the early 70s. Swing Medallions, Double Shot of My Baby's Love, which I think that appears on the original Nuggets collection. See, they do Louie Louie on this, too. This is an import uh, Doris Day album. It looks a bit like a greatest hits. It's called The Showcase of Hits. It does have uh, Sentimental Journey, Les Brown and his orchestra, amongst other songs. Secret Love, It's Magic, Whatever Will Be Will Be. More Chad and Jeremy, which I believe this is their second album. It's on Capitol. I always like the old Moog albums from the late 60s and early 70s, and this one's called The Plastic Cow Goes Moog, with songs like uh, Lady Jane, Born to be Wild. Steve Stills Live. This one's on Atlantic. Steve Stills, there was a period of time in the late 60s and early 70s where Steve Stills is probably one of the most talented guys in the record industry, or in the music business. Then I think he lost his muse. <laughs> Richie Blackmore, Rainbow. I believe this is the first album with Dio on vocals. I'm not such a fan of Ronnie Dio, but Richie Blackmore, I can listen to his guitar playing over and over. Joe Walsh recorded live, You Can't Argue With A Sick Mind, which is Joe's live album from, from the uh, early 70s, I think it's about 74. Frank Zappa, Joe's Garage, Act 2 and Act 3. And Sheik Your Booty. This is a postcard that uh, from Tim Buckley's Greetings from L.A. The album wasn't there, but the postcard was there, so the fellow gave it to me. Martha Hoople, All the Young Dudes. It's funny, I didn't have this album. I have almost every mod album, but I didn't have this album. 
Rayman Zarek of The Doors, Keyboards of The Doors. This is a solo album. The whole thing started with rock and roll and now it's out of control. Genesis Nursery Crime. I picked this one up because it's an original one on Famous Charisma. It's not one of the reissues. Pink Floyd again. Final cut. Jeff Beck Truth. This is his first album after leaving the Yardbirds with Rod Stewart on vocals. It's an excellent album. Might might be one of the best albums that Jeff Jeff Beck ever made. Jeff Beck, Tim Bogert, and Carmen Apiece. It's the I think it's the only album, studio album at least that uh, that they recorded together. Although there is um, an album, a live from Japan album that came out in Japan, and it was available in import over here. And the last one in this collection is Johnny Winter. This is his first album. It's an excellent album. And I have a few 45s here as well. The first being, this is uh, Wanda Jackson, Honey Bop on Capitol. Thunderclap Newman, Something in the Air which was produced by Pete Townsend in 1969, and I think that Pete played bass on this as well. Cat Mother and the All Night Newsboys, Good Old Rock and Roll, which is nominally produced by Jimi Hendrix. We have here Lloyd uh, Price's Personality. I'm not familiar with this version of this song, but Ivo Robic and the Songmasters, Morgan, this is released uh, on Quality Records in Canada by arrangement with Laurie Records in the USA. This is Elise Weinberg, Oh Did I Do. I don't know the song, but I do have the album of this, and it's a very rare kind of psychedelic album. Um, Elise Weinberg was kind of a folky psychedelic uh, recording artist at the time. And Nashville Cats by the Love and Spoonful. Now I have three eight tracks as well. The Who, The Kids Are All Right. David Bowie's Low. And Bram Tchaikovsky, Strange Man, Chain, Change Man. Thanks for watching, everyone.